Good morning, Facebook Live and Jocelyn fans. I'm Rebecca, the program director here at the Jocelyn Center, and this is episode 74, 73, 70 something of the Jocelyn Variety Show. And because it is Thursday, we are going to do our Take 20 with Veronica and do a 20 minute workout. And then, um, yeah, after that, we're gonna talk a little bit about what this weekend's gonna look like for May 20th of July. And then, don't forget, there is no show tomorrow because the Jocelyn Center is observing Independence Day tomorrow. So we will be closed on Friday and the staff will be at home, but we will see you guys again on Monday. But first, let's do our workout with Veronica. So grab your sneakers and your chair and your water. Let's do it. Again, thank you, Rebecca. Hi, everyone. Okay, so happy Thursday. We're going to do a warm up for five minutes. I'm going to glance over at the clock. Uh, I've seen you glancing off the side quite a bit, so there's a clock over there. So we're going to warm up for five minutes, and then we're going to stretch for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So stretching is so important, and the time to do your stretching is when you're really warmed up. You could do what would be considered a workout just to get warmed up to really stretch deeply. So we're gonna warm up for five minutes. We're not gonna stretch deeply. We're gonna stretch carefully and just do a full body stretch. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch the body once and then I'm gonna go through it a second time. So, and the reason we're gonna do that is because um, as a reminder how important it is to stretch because a lot of times we work out and then we have you know, just sort of a quick stretch at the end, um, which is better than not stretching at all. And sometimes you really just need to re remember that stretching is uh, very, very important to the body and you always wanna do it carefully. And that's what we'll try to do today. <laughs> okay, so let's kick out our, uh, excuse me, just tap out our heels, get our body moving. repetition. Okay, and now let's tap side to side. Tap, tap. So I'm staying in the middle and reaching out with my leg side to side. You can do whatever you want with the arms. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep them out of the way of my legs, really. Reaching and reaching, and then we're going to tap behind us. So you can push out with your arms. Reach, reach and tap. Tap that face front again. And now let's see if we can reach up, opposite arm, opposite leg. So knee up, arm up. If it doesn't feel comfortable, uh, Reaching your arms up right now, you can just reach them forward. Either way. Now keep moving. And up. Okay, now let's just uh, put our hands on our, on our waist here and just kick out. So you're placing a kick out there. Place the kick. You can also have just one hand on your chair just to uh, ensure you're stable while you're kicking out. Kick out. Only as high as you can kick and keep your body upright. Make sure you're, you're not leaning back. We don't want to do that. Kick out, kick out. I'm placing that, placing that. So when you place your kick as opposed to just throwing your leg out there, you throw it out there, you might hyperextend your, your knee. Hyperextending, I don't, I don't think that's ever a good thing in any realm. So we'll just avoid that. Kick. Good, a little more marching in place. Just another minute and we will start our stretching. Okay, let's see, let's do some hamstring curls. So we're gonna kick and kick. So really feel that squeeze in your hamstrings, muscles on the back of the thigh. We're squeezing our back muscles too. Few more. Oh, 
Okay, good. Let's do some shoulder rotations to get a little relaxation in there. And really circle those shoulders. Feels good. All right, let's just try to relax our muscles. All right, let's start with, uh, we'll just start from our head down. Okay, so uh, we'll start with our neck, really. Let's drop your chin to your chest. Hold it and just bring it back up. So if your breathing's elevated, mine's elevated, uh, I'm gonna drop my chin down, take another breath while you're there, and then bring it back up. Just until our, our breathing goes back to normal and up. Okay, let's look side to side. Make sure your shoulders are back and down. I felt like I needed to adjust mine. If you look over, you might feel like your shoulders are coming forward a little bit. Reach them back and down. And look side to side. And really look over your shoulder. But you're trying to look behind you a little bit. Good stretch here. And one more. Good. Now head straight uh, in front of you. And just let the top of your head just fall over to the side. That's a good stretch there. You can also put your arm out and, and lower it until you feel the stretch coming down. And the other side. And always keep in mind that one side of the body might be a little bit more flexible than the other side. That's just the way it is. That's normal. Okay, so let's see. So it started over to the side again. Okay, let's take one arm across the body and you can hold it. Don't hold your joint, hold above your joint. And what you're doing is you're gonna pull this very gently, very gently, until you feel a nice stretch coming across here. Remember your body, if you're standing, your body is nice firm foundation here, a little bend in your knees. Let's do the other arm. And squeeze your abdominals, keep yourself stable. You can also hold the arm with the other arm and pull gently. Keep breathing. Nice deep breath breathing. And first side again. Mic who needs a microphone? Okay, I'll try to talk louder. <laughs> okay, let's pull gently right here. Again, you know, we all store tension in our shoulders and our neck area. That's just the way it works. So this is a really good stretch. If you feel a little tightness in the base of your neck or the top of your shoulders, this is a really good stretch for that. Let's pull that and again, keep your breathing going. Just never stop breathing, just keep breathing. Okay, now shoulders back and down. What I'm gonna do is turn to the side. So if you can bring your hands together behind you. If not, just bring your hands behind you, however you, maybe even like this, so that you can pull your shoulders back behind you and down. And really feel that you are standing with just perfect posture and hold that stretch. We're stretching our chest now, opening up the chest. You can do that by clasping your hands, putting your hands behind you, that and now reach in front of you and we're going to pull across the back and just stretch those muscles so really curve the back and feel the stretch in your upper back keep breathing okay back to the chest open up and when you take that breath you can feel that you're you're just wide open here you can get a nice deep breath Arms are in front, hands clasped, and you're stretching out the upper back. Good, okay. Let's reach up and over a little bit. We're gonna stretch down the side. Keep breathing. And a 
other side. So it's up and over. Your stretch starts down here and works up. Back to the first side. Keep breathing. Make sure you're not holding your breath while you're thinking about what you're doing. Just let your breath continue. Okay. Now, if you have countertops nearby or your chair, we're going to stretch our quadricep muscle. You're going to hold your leg up like this. And if you're working in a chair, then you can move to the edge of the chair carefully, put your toe on the floor, and sweep your hip forward. I'm pushing the top of my foot down on the floor until you can find that stretch. Just move around a little bit and you'll find the stretch here. Okay, and now let's do the other leg. Just hold the leg up. Practice your balance if that feels comfortable for you. Quadricep stretch. Back to the first side. And back to the second leg. All right, so now if to stretch the back of the legs, we're gonna do this stretch Arms are out long, your abs are tucked in to protect your lower back. We are stretching up the back of the straight leg all the way up to the lower back. So you're going to uh, become a right angle and keep breathing. Carefully come back up. And let's do, let's see, calf stretch. So I've got one leg back, I'm stretching right here. Bend that, that leg just a little bit and you'll feel your calf muscles stretching. Very carefully though, because you've got, uh, you know, you've got your Achilles back there, don't push it. Okay, how much deeper can I go? We're not warmed up enough to go really deep, so just do a nice, comfortable stretch. And then switch to the other leg. Leg back, little bend in that back leg. And feel that calf muscle stretching. And you know, one of the good things about stretching is it can help you um, it's vital to stretch, but it can really it can help you also to avoid cramping. If you keep your keep your muscles, try to keep your muscles relaxed in any activity you're doing. Try to keep your muscles relaxed, and you won't be awoken in the middle of the night by those horrendous cramps. So often they happen in the legs. So oftentimes, <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, sorry, I felt a little tightness in there. I just automatically had to do that stretch. Okay, let's start from the top. We're going to start with our neck. Look side to side. We're going to do one in each direction. And we'll have a little brain uh, workout here. Let's see if we can do all of them and not leave one out. I'll try to cover them all with what we did and not forget one. Your laundry list. Okay. So your head's tilting to the side. You've got a nice stretch here. And the other side. Shoulder rotation. Now let's open up the chest. So either hands behind you, clasp fingers, or put your hands on your hips there. Open up your chest. Practicing perfect posture while you're stretching your chest muscles. And now we're going to curve forward, stretching our upper back. Do 
something we didn't do before. Let's rotate our hips just to relax those joints here. Nice big circles. And let's do the other direction. Okay, Rebecca, what stretches next? <laughs> stretch our, our waist, our sides, I mean. <laughs> Not saying a lot. So breathing, reach up and then reach up. Okay, here's one that I missed. We're gonna go back up here and stretch this. So from your neck, get your necks rela relaxed and this would be next, coming down into your deltoids area. So as you're pulling gently your arm across your body, you're stretching all the way down here. And other side. Reason for touching my face. This is a little wispy hair. Gently pulling. Okay, good. Let's go into our quadricep stretch. So we're gonna hold our ankle or your pant leg, or you can put a, if you have a band to work out with, you can wrap it around your ankle and hold on to that basically pointing the knee to the floor. You can point your foot or flex it, whatever your preference. And hold that stretch. Now, while you're doing the stretch, if you think about bringing your hip bone, bone forward a little bit, just bring your pelvis forward a little bit, you'll get a, just a little bit more of a stretch in your hip flexor as well, without going too deep. Just push forward a little bit Okay, now other side, hold, knee points towards the floor, and I'm gonna push your, your hip bone forward just a little bit, just a little bit forward and get a little, bring the stretch up into your hip flexor. That's an area, your hip flexor, that sometimes when you may be sitting for a while and you get up and you just walk off somewhere, it can be really easy to have that tighten up on you. So remember it when you're stretching right here. Okay. All right. Back of the legs all the way up to the lower back. Squeeze in your abdominals to support your lower back and into a right angle. Keep breathing. You could straighten your back and kind of flatten it a little bit, you'll feel the, the stretch a little bit more. It's still safe, you're not pushing it too much. Just relax into that stretch. Okay, let's gently come out. One foot behind, and we're going to bend that back leg, the back leg, so we're stretching the calf muscle. We're going down to the Achilles. <clears throat> and you know what else we can do while we're in this position is bring your pelvis forward just a little bit and you'll get that hip flexor stretch again. Okay, other side, legs back, a little bend in the knee, and then feel the calf stretch. Bring your pelvis forward just a little bit to get that uh, hip flexor stretch in there too. Okay, very good. Okay, so if you don't have time to work out and stretch, I would recommend you do a, a nice warm up and then do some light stretching. And that can be your workout. And that would feel really good and your body's gonna thank you. Okay, have a great day, everybody. <laughs> thank you, Veronica. Okay, guys, so it is almost 4th of July weekend which means that we won't be here tomorrow to do the variety show and we won't be available to answer phone calls, but if you leave us messages, we can get back to you on Monday or you can always shoot us an email. Um, but remember, please try to avoid large gatherings of people this weekend. If you're out in public, make sure you wear your mask. Um, don't eat picnic foods that other people are touching or, or sharing. Um, just take care of yourselves because we want you to be able to come back here as soon as possible and we can't reopen until it's safe to do so and it's not safe to do so until uh, we follow a lot of the guidelines that will help keep us healthy. So 
please be safe hang in there i know that we're all struggling and we all miss each other but we will be open soon as long as uh, as long as we can get through this hard part so if you need anything if there's anything we can do for you if you need counseling or resources or anything like that let us know we're here to help but have a lovely weekend stay safe and we'll see you all on monday bye